Previously, I told you about a new feature in GP2010 about being able to enter transactions on budgets, changing your budget. Let's see it in action and let's talk about how it could be more useful for your company to utilize this feature. So, in FRX, I've created a report for a particular department and I have my original budget that I've created and then I have a duplicate of my budget and this is where I'll enter in uh, changes to my budget. I also have the actual for the current period and a variance so I can look at the two. Let's take a look at this report right now. So I'll launch the report and you can see I have my actual columns. It's the same in both places. I have my original budget and I have my adjusted budget and right now they're the same thing. But on this commissions, if I want to change this budgeted number because it should actually be higher for whatever reason now that I'm in the year, I know it should be higher and I want to make a change to that. So let's do that now. Now in Gray Plains, to activate being able to track budget information, you do need to go to the setup on the financial series, general ledger, and make sure that under main, maintain history you have this option marked. It does not mark by default when you uh, upgrade to GP2010 or, or install GP2010, so you will need to mark that. I'm going to click OK then. And let's close that back out. So I have my budgets created, and if I want to do a budget transaction, under the financial transactions, I'll choose budget transactions. I get a budget journal entry number. I'll select my budget, and I want to change the adjusted budget. I have my transaction date and I can even enter in a reference if I choose. And here I'm going to select my commission account for my sales department, department 300. And if I know I want to make changes to this, I, so I'm going to make an adjustment here for 6300 to make it $7,000. And I'll post. We'll close this out. And because I utilize the Maintain History feature, I even have the ability to go through and look at budget transaction information within my inquiry window. So you can see budget journal entry number, and you can see my, oops, let's select journal entry one, and I'll put in my commission account. And you can see my change as well. So click OK. So now let's go back to FRX and regenerate our report. And now you can see my adjusted budget is $6,900, which was the $600 plus the $6,300. And I can see the variance. Now a lot of people will use an adjusted budget based on the original budget because as you budget, you have your sales and then you have all your expenses as a percent of sales. So if your sales are double what your budget was, then your expenses therefore should be um, a higher percent. And so that's why they'll have an original budget and a pro forma budget or an adjusted budget. This is a great way of working and a great way of utilizing FRX or management reporter as well. Hope this helps.